Hey, welcome YouTube. I am Aniket and you are watching Vet Study. So in today's video, we will discuss about the pharynx of different species. Before starting, I recommend you that you can follow me on Instagram. On my Instagram account, I upload stuff related to veterinary and uh, daily mini vlogs. So let's start with the pharynx of horse. So the uh, pharynx of horse is comparatively longer and narrower. Uh, compared to the other species and uh, superiorly it is related to the guttler pouches so uh, what are guttler pouches so this structure guttler pouches are very important uh, this structure is important because it is associated with certain diseases uh, sometimes pus filled in the guttler pouch and uh, that will cause the ultimate issue with horses so esophagus opening is narrow in case of horse and the posterior nera are larger uh, so th these are some differences now let's talk about the guttler pouch in detail so what are these guttler pouch these are the pair of large mucus mucus sac right so as you can see these are the sac and these are large and it they are situated on either side of the middle midline of the above the pharynx so uh, this is the pharynx as you can see uh, this area and uh, you can see uh, the these are present above the pharynx right uh, you can also appreciate the guttler pouch in this so these guttler pouches this yellow area is present above the pharynx and they are found only and only in equines remember this uh, thing that guttler pouches are only present in equines not in other species and if we talk about the epithelium it is coated with ciliated epithelium right and it have a capacity of 300 cc so these are some uh, you know uh, information about the guttler pouch and you have to remember this because this is important as of pathology portion also so you can also appreciate guttler pouch in this so this is guttler pouch above this guttler pouch we have brain and uh, cranially to the brain we have the frontal sinus we have the nasal cavity we have the uh, sphenopalatine sinus and uh, below this a uh, guttler pouch you can appreciate the pharynx in pharynx we have the nasopharynx we have the oropharynx and here uh, the corniculate cartilage and this is esophagus okay so this is the structure now let's talk about the uh, pharynx of dog uh, there is nothing much to discuss in the pharynx of dog only the esophageal opening is small in case of a dog only the esophageal uh, opening is is small and uh, it will also vary according to the breed because we have the dolichocephalic breed we have the brachycephalic breed uh, so it will differ according to the breed okay now let's talk about the pig in case of pig uh, it is comparatively narrow and small and the cavity of pharynx uh, reach up to the second cervical vertebrae this is important that the cavity of pharynx reach up to the second uh, cervical vertebrae okay so this is important and uh, now let's talk about the rabbit so in case of rabbit uh, the uh, the pharynx the uh, esophagus is narrow and elongated obviously and oropharynx is extensive in case of rabbit now uh, fowl is interesting in this case uh, because in case of fowl there is something absent soft uh, palate soft palate is absent in case of fowl so this is important and the roof present a median infundibular slit so this is the median infundibular slit median median infundibular slit this is also only present in case of the poultry and it is common opening for the left and right auditory tubes so this is peculiar in case of uh, poultry that soft palate is absent and median infundibular slit is present in case of poultry so this is all about the species difference in pharynx thanks for watching if you like then please press the thumbs up and subscribe to vet study